Hello everyone, Ken the Bearded Accountant here, and today I've got a review that's a long time coming, Razorback Beard Care, etc. I'm posting this a little late in the day. Uh, my eye got a little, that I got a little dinged up, and yesterday, the only thing you would have paid attention to is how closed up my, and blown up my eye was. So with that, I'm going to get into my quick intro and into the review on the other side of it. Okay, I'm back, so let's get into what I've got today. I've got a two-ounce bottle of their regular blend in the Dude scent. And I've got a one-ounce bottle of their Skelly blend in the Chocolate Stout scent. As well as, I forget what size this was, but their Beard Butter. Two-ounce Beard Butter. Okay, let's get into price. Uh, the two ounce bottle of his regular blend is $20. One ounce bottle of the Skelly blend is $15. And the two ounce poured or whipped butter is $15. So these are great prices. Oh, and their goat's milk and charcoal blended beard wash bars are only $6. Okay, now for ingredients. On their regular blend, the ingredients are sweet almond, castor, hemp seed, full spectrum vitamin E, jojoba, and then essential and fragrance oils. For the Skelly blend, it's basically the same blend with aloe in place of the sweet almond. So for the Skelly blend, it's aloe, castor, hemp seed, full spectrum vitamin E, jojoba, and then essential and fragrance oils. So, VFS, viscosity, feel and beard, and styling. Let's start with the regular blend. Okay, now, as far as viscosity, I only know of one other oil that I describe this way. This is a thick oil. Yeah, feeling beard is incredibly soft. The first time I put this in my beard, I felt like it didn't initially give me a super soft feeling, but luckily I know enough to wait a couple hours in incredibly soft feeling beard. I'd say it gives that nice, soft cotton candy feeling. Super light, super fluffy. Uh, as far as styling, my beard doesn't always get along with hemp seed especially well. Hemp seed's in the third spot here, but it must be the fact that he's got caster in front of it because right now I'm wearing it. I don't have any butter, any balm, and I'm styling great. I do need a trim at the bottom. For this, viscosity thick, feeling beard, super soft, and styling was, it was good, no problems. Now, moving on to the Skelly blend. This is the nut-free blend that replaces sweet almond with aloe oil. Uh, this blend is a thick oil as well with great softness. I didn't have hemp issues with this, which keep in mind only a, a small fraction of us have a problem with hemp. But even though hemp was in the third spot, that caster in front of it, I didn't have any issues. And I would say I do enjoy the regular blend more than the Skelly blend. I don't know if it's in my head uh, that aloe isn't my favorite, but I will tell you watching a live stream, I think in the chat I mentioned Razorback because I was wearing it and uh, Ron deliberately bearded just kind of jumped in and said how much he loves the Skelly blend. So they're very similar, just, you know, personal preference, which one you'd think you'd want to go with, whether you think that sweet almond is going to be the one for you or or you'd rather see that aloe first. Okay, the first scent profile, the Dude. This is the Kahlua scented beard oil. Now, I'm an expert in what Kahlua smells like. Do you know why? Because I've got a bottle of Kahlua. So I bought this especially for this. So that's Kahlua. It's easy to become an expert in what Kahlua smells like. Yeah, and they smell very, very, very similar out of the bottle. But for me, when I got this in beard, it, it didn't quite smell like Kahlua. What I got out, out of the scent was basically a black coffee scent as a base, like coffee grounds after having been brewed with a touch of sweetness. So I wouldn't say this in beard quite smells like Kahlua to me, but I love it. I, I like black coffee scents, but a lot of times they don't last all that long. You know, I've had black coffee scents where I'm, I've got it for two hours and I'm pretty much gone. This one for me, uh, 
sense strength was on the light, lighter side of medium, but I got at least eight hours out of this for scent duration. The scent duration really surprised me. I wouldn't have expected this scent to last quite that long. So moving on, chocolate stout. Now this is kind of, for me, kind of like a muted chocolate, chocolatey scent, sort of like a cup of, cup of cocoa with the stout influence there. Uh, it was a medium to medium light scent strength in four to five hours what I get out of this one. So this one, let me give it a little sniff, remind myself. Yeah, I, I really like this scent. A lot of chocolates are sometimes too much. For me, this one, it, it had the right right amount of, of strength and I just, I really enjoy wearing this for the scent. So with that, I will mention the butters. This is in the Skelly blend as well. And something about this, this is a whipped butter, but in actually I've used a lot more of this than I thought. I must have really been digging it. The consistency of this, it's so whipped, it's unbelievable, but it's heavy. Once you break it down, it, it's sort of got more, more oomph to it than you would expect for how light and fluffy it is. And it breaks, I mean, it breaks down so easily. And I just thought I'd put some in for the hell of it because I was going uh, oil only. Okay, so to summarize, I was really impressed by how soft this oil made my beard feel. Uh, it, it was pretty damn soft. The only difficulty I would have thought I had with this would have been the hemp, but you know, that caster in front of the hemp, I guess took that, you know, thing that's unique to me away and this worked especially well for me. As far as the net free blend with aloe, it worked well, great softness. I just happened to like the other blend a little better. I don't know if there are a lot of folks out there with nut allergies, but if you do, that's a good option. Uh, something else I wanted to mention, uh, this two ounce bottle is a great deal. Personally, I like one ounce bottles. Uh, one thing I hate is not going through a bottle. And based on how much I've gotten used out of this, I'd be pretty, you know, getting relatively close to finishing it off. I don't like, it's a great deal. It's just a little mental thing I've got. I don't like dealing with a two ounce bottle of oil. And I will mention the soap. It w I thought it was regular bar soap. So I handed it off to the lady of the house. It was actually a beard bar, beard wash bar. So I didn't get to try it, but based on her rantings and ravings about how great it was, I'm going to pick up their beard bar washes and give those a check out. So with that, I think I'm out of here. Please hit that like button, notification bell if you want to see more. And pretty please with the cherry on top, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Beep.